welcome back, and I'm really sorry I didn't get a video up last night. I had some birthday celebrations that took priority, but we're back and I've got some cool stuff to announce that today we'll be going over my new workbench that I built for the shed. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be going up to London to meet some people, meet up with some people from the LTA summit, and then we're gonna have some drinks and everything, and I'm hopefully gonna try and stealth camp somewhere in London. And then on Saturday I'm meeting up with Josh's Happiness. We are going to build a cool metal frame box that will go instead of where my seating is and then I'm going to buy some seats that will go on top of the metal frame and this will somehow, I'm still working out a little finer details, but this will somehow become the new sort of alternative to swivel seats which will be awesome. Right guys, my shed has become a bit of a tip at the moment and I'm sick of it. So I've got loads of extra offcuts from the roof rack of my scaffolding boards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these into one like workstation that's going to be in the centre of this area. And I'm going to take my circular saw off there and it's going to be built into this little area here. This is the general size that I'm going to use for my table and I thought no better wood to use up than the scaffolding board because it's thick and it's strong and it's already beaten up so it doesn't matter if I hack into it when I'm cutting something. So what I've done is I've removed the metal edgings that the end of scaffolding boards usually have uh, because if I keep them on on one end and then they on these cut end they don't have any then this side is going to be closer together and bunched up and then further up here there's going to be small gaps appearing and it tapers up so I don't want that so I've removed them all and uh, so now they all go nice and flush. Right, so today is a brand new day. I couldn't get anything uh, yesterday because it was Sunday and it was a weekend. Um, and so today, this morning, I went and got some 47mm by 100mm timber. And these are going to become the legs. And what I've done is I've measured it up so that hopefully this table will be the same height as my circular saw is at the moment. So I'm cutting some 80cm legs. But that's to give enough space for some heavy duty caster wheels so that it can glide about because otherwise this thing is going to be really heavy and a huge pain in the ass to move around. Boom! We have got one table. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to add the, the shelf level that will take the circular saw so it's flat level in that little gap. And then I'm going to put just cover this in like hooks and everything that I can put tools on and storage. And then this will become the central workstation that I can get all my tools off of. And I might even add like an extension cable to it so there's like a place I can plug stuff into. So now I've cut out this sheet of ply and that's going to be the first layer which the circular saw sits on and provides extra storage over that end. And what I need to do is, the circular saw is 31 centimetres high, so I need to measure down 31 centimetres and then that's where the top part of the ply needs to go. So then that's 9mm ply, so I need to go down another 9mm and then at that line I can then screw in my cross strut and then my ply will sit on top and then hopefully, fingers crossed, my circular saw will be plush with the top of the table.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, the circular saw is now mounted in the table. It looks so cool, actually. I'm really chuffed with the results. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. It really does help. Also, one last thing before you click away. Um, as I mentioned before in the previous video, I want to travel around Europe in the van and I'm gonna write an and I'm gonna write up an itinerary of where I'm going. If you think you're along that route or you're near that route and you wanna meet up and talk about vans, that'd be awesome and I'd love to do that. Also, I'm a fully qualified drone pilot and I'm gonna be filming a lot of aerial stuff when I go. If you guys know of anything cool that will be along the route when I share it a little bit later, um, let me know and I'd love to go film it. And also, if you guys want something filmed yourselves and you wanna have it, I will happily come along and film it for you in exchange for a bit of food and drink and a little chat, really. So. So I try and write down a route of where I'm going at what times. And if you're around, let me know and I will come and meet up with you guys. Mm -hmm.